hello welcome to pro mixing and mastering today i'm going to teach you and show you how to mix top quality nigerian vocals in cuba so take a listen to this we know it, we know it, we know it, Jehovah, eh. i've never seen this kind of god 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 now my life is better like butter everywhere i go i'm a testimony now my life is better now my life is sweeter thank you jehovah for what you have done you took me from the dungeon and took me to palace you took care of me when i had nothing you took care of me when i was nothing this god has done me well this god has done me well this God has done me well Jehovah has done me well We know it, we know it Alright, beautiful vocal, right? So what did I do? First thing that you gotta do is come to Stereo In, alright? There is this that is called Stereo In uh, in your Cubase and Go to Inserts Go to Dynamics and throw in what is called a compressor Just like that leave it the way it is do not try to change anything just come to hold and drop it down to zero basically that's what you gotta do the rest leave them the way they are what you want is to help your vocals as you're recording to have that consistency all right now once you've loaded up cubis uh, compressor come to hold and bring it down to zero just put it to zero and leave the rest the way they are all right and now your main vocal it's very important for you to straighten up your vocal a little bit so in your lead vocal or your main uh chorus vocals add auto tune any type of auto tune that you have is gonna work so with mine i've said it on fast why i wanna like smooth the vocal completely so my humanize is gonna be on zero for now but if you want it to be more human you can like take it there all right and then once you have said that come to your key put the right key so that your uh auto tune should not sound off and the other thing the reason why you recorded you record with a compressor is for your vocal to be consistent with the auto tune if you want your auto tune to be on point make sure you record with a compressor that's the reason why you have to do that so once you have put your key mine is in a your scale major leave the rest the way they are do not mess around with the vibrato or else your auto tune is gonna be bad so once you have put auto tune i have auto tune in this one and i have auto tune in this one i have auto tune in this one connect your vocals to uh group channel tracks i have group one group two and group three group one is for my uh main lead group two is for my chorus and group three is for the backings all right so let let's go ahead and check out group number one and also make sure you create fx channel tracks like reverb and double delay i'm gonna come to reverb and double delay check out the video that i did on how to create these so group number one go straight into group number one the first thing that i have thrown uh into the inserts is an eq the first one is always an eq because you have to uh subtract some of those bad frequencies and also do some boosting so your vocal can really have body now here is a trick we know it, we know it. the vocal is sounding warm right and sounding round it's not too it's not overcut it's not sharp so to get that uh trick done give it just a cut like this just a little bit of that cut to clear off some of that mud which your ears cannot hear and then around 194 to 200 somewhere they are boosted up this is the secret area especially when you want to get around fuller vocals which are warmer we know it, we know it, we know it, Jehovah, eh. i've never seen this kind of god so if you want to get that type of vocal raise it up this is the secret that pros use uh, especially uh, when they want to get a good warm sounding vocal so you raise up around 200 or 194 somewhere there with me i've raised it to uh, plus positive 6.73 db 
uh, pretty much because I wanted a warmer vocal. And then I did a cut. You cut around 300 somewhere there just to clean it up a little bit. There is a boosting which cutters all this area from uh, 56 all the way to uh, 837. So my cue is like widened up. You widen up your cue. Then at the same time, I did a cut like subtractive. You subtract a little bit. So which is uh, three around 307.49. Uh, heads i did a cut of j just a little bit negative 2.24 db all right then around 2k area there is this this uh frequency so i had to cut this uh annoying frequency it's a little bit sharp to the ears now there is this frequency which i also cut this one is called boxed frequency. It's box boxed. So you don't want to uh, make your vocals sound boxed. So to remove that boxiness, you have to cut a little bit somewhere there around 300 uh, hertz. And then now I had to boost just like what I said to get the warmth, uh, to give my, my vocal that warmth. So this is the frequency that I boosted. This is a warm frequency. So this is called a warm frequency. It warms up your vocal and gives your vocal that a uh, good dynamic. And now there is this part right here. As you can see, it's uh, muted, it's out. The reason why I, I did not raise the highs or open it up is because of, check out the next video tutorial that I'm gonna do why, uh, on why I left this one out. So basically this is the EQ that has uh, been done to the vocal. The next one that you put after the EQ is uh, a compressor. So you add any compressor that you have is gonna work. I am using compressor D's uh, from DC Works. So my attack is on fast. I wanna get my vocals to cut through whenever you wanna get your vocals to sound warm and also cut through make sure your attack is on fast so it's on 0 0.1 uh db then my release is also on fast it's just said uh to 70. my threshold is not too much the more your threshold the more your compressor is gonna do the work so the less your threshold the less your compressor is going to do the work. It's uh, going to help you to get that natural uh, sounding vocal. So negative 23.0 is working out. And my ratio is not too much. It's 2 to 1. So 2 to 1 is a good ratio for uh, to set your compressor. And then I also have the ESR turned on just to ease it out on those S's. That's the work of ID. So of course you can set it from here. So I have set mine just like this. Basically, this is what this compressor is doing. You can see it compressing right here where the vocal is a little bit higher or too much. It compresses and those other places where the vocal sounds a little bit weak, it tries to like uh, raise them up and just strengthen the vocal a little bit like this. We know it, we know it, we know it, Jehovah, I've never... So that's basically the work of uh, a compressor. Then the next one that you gotta put is, if you wanna get this, uh, that Nigerian type uh, of vocal, after a compressor, put a maximizer. Maximizer is gonna maximize your vocals like this. We know it, we know it. I have reduced it just a little bit to negative 2.0. I do not want my maximizer, the maximizer to really maximize, uh, to put more volume to the vocal, else the vocal will sound distorted. To avoid that, you reduce it a little bit and then leave your optimize on 25.0. And then turn on your soft clip. And then from there, after all this, um, Compressor raises up the volume, maximizer raises up the volume. So if you do not add a denoiser, the floor noise is gonna be heard. So I'm using Cubase's denoiser, set it on medium so that all the frequencies that have been raised up by a comp the compressor and also maximizer can be reduced or cleaned up. This denoiser helps to clean up the vocal so the vocal can sound cleaner. We know it, we know it. So the vocal is sounding that clean because there is a denoiser. So what I'm going to do now is turn off these and also I'm going to turn off auto tune now. Take a listen to how the vocal sounds. We know it, we know it, we know it, 
very low right so now i'm gonna turn on or oh, first let, let me start by turning on auto tune then i will turn on this as we go on and suddenly the vocal comes alive i've never seen this kind of god I've never seen this kind of and now to give your vocal that space and that uh delay effect you add a plugin that is called uh a reverb so you add reverb to your vocals you want to wait your vocals and make sure that your vocals sound spaced and wide so i am using reverb a this is the one that i'm that i'm using to space out and give my vocal that widening we know so that effect is coming from a reverb A and pre and, and delay. So I'm using pre-delay. My pre-delay is 10.0 milliseconds. My reverb time is one milliseconds, just like that. And my low is on seven negative 7.5. My high cut is on negative 11.8. Whenever you wanna like uh, have that uh, reverb heard, just increase the high cut a little bit and your reverb is gonna come out. Then from there, I connected my reverb to the same group, sends, you come to the sends. So my reverb is negative 20.11. This is how the vocal sounds like. We know it, we know it, we know it, Jehovah. Yeah, beautiful, right? So I have pre -de a pre-delay, acting like a delay. And also, this time I'm using a double delay. This double delay is very good nice so oh it comes like this make sure you turn on so that it can be on one quarter and then leave it the way it is okay and then start driving it in to a place where your vocal will start sounding nice we know it, we know. so my double delay is on negative 24.47 and my reverb is on negative 20.11 this is what is giving space to the to all the vocals we know it these settings are for double delay and reverb a are also in group number one and group number two basically this is what you do to your vocals and apart from that balancing and of course balancing with me are balance only my backings the leads are either if they're too high I reduce them using a compressor. I do not uh, reduce them anywhere else. I reduce them using a compressor. So they are set and this is how you mix top quality Nigerian vocals. I will see you in the next one.